The worst of flu season may be over, but it's still elevated in Indiana and Illinois. Last week, we took you to schools and daycares to see how they are coping. Tonight in HealthWatch 10, News 10's Patsy Kelly visited an assisted living home to see how they're keeping the deadly strain away. The flu virus has passed its peak, but it's far from dead. Indiana and Illinois are still seeing widespread sickness. And while it hits everyone pretty hard, Beth Clark of Breckenridge Commons and Villas says it's especially dangerous for elderly patients. You're dealing with a population that is uh, medically fragile. We're a communal building here. We all meet together for lunch and meals in the dining room. So that's just a breeding ground. And so we have to be very careful. Clark says for them, it's best to try and prevent it from popping up inside these homes. We are very diligent in making sure that we are wiping things down with uh, antibacterial products. Anytime they go into a residence room, they are expected to wash their hands when they're leaving. Anything they do in that room, they need to wash their hands in between. We just want to make sure that we're taking good, good care of our residents. So they're watching their step and taking new steps to stop this in its tracks. If we see that we have an outbreak of the flu bug, then we see how many people have it, and then we will switch off to paper plates. Um, and paper products because we just don't want to take any chances. Keeping our more delicate loved ones safe and secure. We just don't want to take any chances and so we work very hard at preventing it and then once we, if we do have somebody with it, then we will take the steps that we need to with them. In Sullivan with photojournalist Cody Murphy, Patsy Kelly, News 10. Clark asks if you are planning to visit a loved one in an assisted living home and you have a fever or you've had flu-like symptoms, please don't come in. Give them a phone call instead and keep them healthy.